everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about memory dex cards and I've been making these cuties since February started because I always love challenging myself to create beautiful stuff. So I'm going to be making 14 cards and I will split my videos in three parts so I can explain everything that is going on in each single one. So let's start. So I made this one using my Cricut machine. So this cutie comes from the Cricut Design Space and every time I create a card with my Cricut I need to use the Heidi Swap Punch in order to uh, punch the holes. But nothing complicated, okay? So then these hearts that you see over here, the conversation hearts, they are um, made using this uh, stamp set. This is a very old one and uh, so I, I picked different colors, stamped the uh, hearts and then used my scissors to cut them and then I added in her head this cute bow and this one is made using a pink and main uh, dye. This one. And uh, yeah, it has three different layers because of the colors that I used for the foxy. But I think that uh, sometimes less is more and this one looks adorable just as is and I love it. Then to the bow I added some wink of Stella and a pearl in the center and she's such a cute critter, right? Okay, so that is my first card. And then I created this shaker one. And uh, this heart is made using a dye that I uh, found in Amazon. Okay, so um, I used some puffy paint here in each uh, half of the heart, some uh, glitter for the shaking part, and then the cute image and the sentiment, they both come from the same uh, stamp set. I used her and this saying over here, this sentiment over here. And this stamp is from the Greeting Farm stamps. Super cute and adorable. I love those beanies. So I colored her using my Prismacolor pencils and added some white dots over here in her cheeks and also some polka dots in her outfit and uh, that's all that it's going on with this card super cute and I love shakers and of course dollies then I created this other one and this is also made using my Cricut machine so it has three different layers the red, the gray and then the pink and what I do is that I cut several layers of each color in order to give the uh, letters a great uh, dimension and texture and because this XOX says it all I decided that it was better not to put a lot of stuff on top of this card and just use these cute jammies and I found them at Michael's so these are the ones that I'm using for this card and I love always adding some bling to my cards and my projects. And so this is the card number three. Then for my next card is this one and it has a lot of layers. Okay. So if you see, I used for this one also my Cricut machine. But I have a combination of uh, dice and SVG files to create this one. So the first, the second, and the third layers, they come from an SVG file from myscrapchick.com. So it is super cute. This rosette is a heart and it comes like that in the file. So it is so worth it to have it. I love it. So I used some foam tape in between the first and the second layer. And then the rosette is just glued by the center. And then on top I have this other like doily heart. And that one is made using this die. 
I love hearts, by the way. And then on top of this, uh, uh, this layer goes this heart. And that is made using this Tim Holtz die. I use the biggest one. Super adorable. Super, super adorable. I love that die. And then on top, I wanted to put something um, else. And I decided to go with a bow. And I created this one using this, my creative time die. Okay. And then in the center, I added this uh, jemmy that is heart-shaped. And these are foam stickers. And they are super cute. And then on top of this uh, 3D heart, I added some glitter glue. And I think it looks just adorable, don't you? I love this card. And then my last card is this one. Look at this uh, mailbox. Oh my goodness. I just, I can't. I just love it. It is so detailed and it can open. And of course inside I have a ton of tiny envelopes, but these three that you see in the opening, they are hot glued because just for the look. And then the flower, is one of my handmade flowers and uh, the flower is made using this Fiskar sponge and the leaves are made using this Prima dye. You will find in uh, one of my videos how to put together this flower. And then for the tiny envelopes I used this Fiskar sponge. Look at that, it is super cute. And then in the center of the paper flower, I added this uh, crochet flower that I made. And then in the center of that flower, I added this jemmy. Then I added some glitter glue here in the border and some puffy paint here in the male sign. And it looks super, super cute. So you can put all your tiny envelopes uh, inside of your mailbox or you could add some chocolates or tiny embellishments or whatever you like but also because I love this uh, mailbox I decided to go a little bit uh, bigger and I created this one and this is an SVG file from SVG Cuts and it is super simple to put together it is very, very sturdy because of all the layers that you need to cut. Of course, I use my Cricut machine to create this and it stands by itself. And I love that. I really love that. Because this one is a little bit bigger. Instead of using puffy paint here in the male sign, I used uh, these tiny brads that I had on my stash. And I think th this one looks like very vintage. And for this one, I created a couple of small envelopes with a card that I'm going to be uh, writing on a little bit later. And I created these tiny envelopes using my tiny We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. So if you see nothing fancy or complicated, and a lot of red, of course, and pinks, because we are celebrating Valentine's Day, but I really love how these cuties look. So if you have any questions, please write them down below in the comments and I will be more than happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Of course, you know that I am always happy that you're here with me and I really hope that you get some inspiration, that you give it a try. And uh, thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe, like, comment and of course click the notification bell so you know when a new video is up. But in the meantime, take care and I hope to see you very soon. Bye!